Hello guys, this is Yunus Ali from Edge Pro Software Solutions. This is my third video on Java programming NetBeans. Today I am going to show you how to create login form and connect to our database using login form. Okay. Now first of all, I have created a database yesterday in my previous video named student and I have created a new table employee in my database ok this is our new database uh, a new table in our database student ok here I have created 5 columns 6 columns starting with employee id name surname age username password once again i am repeating i have created six columns employee id name surname age username password in our table employee i have created this new table okay and inserted two users one robert smith and julia roberts okay now i have given them some username and password assigned them i have assigned username and pass password to these two users okay now we are go going to create our login form uh, using these usernames and passwords we are going to login into our database okay I am going to show you see I have it will look like this guys for your idea I am showing already which I have created uh, see it will be looking like this in final stage okay username password from here we are going to login using username and password when, uh, when we click login it will enter into our database checks whether the username password is correct if it is correct it shows it is correct otherwise it shows the username password is not correct okay now i am going to show you how to do this okay first of all we have created our and then table employee in our database now yesterday we have created our main connection my sql connect dot java class okay this is our connection one small correction is there yesterday I, in my previous connection video i have shown this as con c o n but it is c o m com okay com dot my sql dot jdbc driver in future we are going to download this driver from net okay now what you are going to do is in main application okay right click new j form j frame form you have to create new j frame j frame form and name it as login underscore form okay and name it login underscore form and also create another j frame form second j frame form and name it as employee underscore info dot java ok now we are going to create our login form this is the design i have taken two labels username password and this is text field this is password field see here you can see this is text field text field and uh, this is password field ok this is password field now i have changed the variable name as txt underscore username of the text field right click change variable name text underscore username ok now change the password fields use a variable name also to text underscore password ok 
next right click this edit text you can change the text of the label right click here edit text you can change the name of the label you can also change the name of the button using edit text okay i have changed the variable name of this button as button login okay with these settings if you want you can add all these uh, items to one panel just click and drag and select all these right click next enclose in panel okay you can do like this so when you move panel all the items will move simultaneously right now you can also change settings of panel just uh, right click right but just click on panel right click properties see uh, right click properties and uh, you go to properties and on border you take title border okay title border this one and in the title place type login and select the color you want i am selecting red okay next font go to font and select this font bold and take 18 okay now you can see we have created a panel with name login okay now let us go to coding part see i have already coded here in order to save time we have only 15 minutes for each video just import java.awt.star these are packages of swing we have to import them next import java.awt.event.window event next import java.sql.star import java.x.swing.star in public class login form extends java swing dot j frame here you have to write these three conditions connection con c o n n is equal to null prepared statement p s t is equal to null result set r s is equal to null okay now we write windows closing event see we write this method here just below in it components this what this method does is when we run our program it it closes previous j frame form and opens new j frame form for the event of closing and opening we write this code okay window event when closing event is equal to new window event this comma window event dot window closing okay next toolkit dot get default toolkit bracket start bracket close dot get system event queue bracket start bracket close dot post event when closing event we have to add this for the purpose of closing first j frame and opening next j frame okay here we are going to create another private void method form window dot open by doing if you want you you have to select this window go to events window window open okay it will take you here you just write one line con is equal to my sql connect dot connect db that is this one yesterday which we have created my sql connect dot java this connects to this connection class okay just write this one line this is very important for getting connection okay con is equal to my sql connect dot connect db right now private void button click mouse event we have to enter whenever we click button here button uh, click mouse event go to events mouse 
mouse click button event this will open inside this write this code string sql select star from employee employee is the table which we have created for our employees okay we have to give the location of this table okay now select star from employee where username is equal to question mark and password is equal to question mark now let us take try and catch statement in between this pst is equal to con dot con dot prepare statement sql 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 okay next pst dot set string one that is for our design part we are taking this username text is there this variable text username as one okay one comma text username dot get text it will take uh, get text uh, from that uh, text field next pst dot string two text password it will get pa password text from password field okay see this one then the username for this is text underscore password that's what i am saying here text underscore password get text from there okay now rs is result result statement result set it will displace the it will run pst prepare statement execute query okay if rs is equal to next we will a message box will be shown username password is correct then it closes okay employee info s is equal to new uh, new employee that means we have created another jframe jframe form name employee underscore info so we are assigning a variable s to this form jframe J form employee info form okay we are setting it to set visible true okay next else j option pane show measure it will show a message dialog box if the username and password is not correct it will show a message dialog box showing invalid username and password okay next in that case error message will become okay this is our coding now let us run our program okay see we have given username password as qwerty and qwerty123 right now i am giving username password as qwerty qwerty123 right login username and password is correct okay see new jframe form is opened okay one more thing you have to do here is just go to your login form design and in properties panel in properties panel go to code and uh, select this one which one properties so sorry in this form select the form go here properties default close operation from it from exit on close to set it to dispose okay once again i am sh showing from default close operation from exit on close to set it to dispose right this will close otherwise the form will come and exit you can't see the form okay after the setting you have to do one more thing in libraries you have to import this java connector file okay right click on libraries go to add jar and select mysql connector dot java file i will show you how to download this jar file huh? okay and just select open it will be downloaded here this is how we connect to our database and in my next video i will show you how to download this connector file also okay please follow me subscribe and i am having 30 seconds only okay subscribe and comment thanks thank you for watching follow me in next video guys okay all the best